I have no awareness of I know. details. Yeah. But people detail. I looked like at it. your outfit today. It's nine in the city, and I'm on my way back home. Hello, we are now headed to a big mood meeting. I just got done with a sticky show meeting about our patreon and our podcast you shut up car and now we're going to a big mood meeting it's in glendale because that's the central location for all of us um the unfortunate part of this particular group of girls is that we're all over the city no one lives like right next to each other anyway um we picked cheesecake factory because it's happy hour right now whoa, whoa. and uh they have big booths so that you can actually have a private conversation. So, see you over there. Humming on my favorite ditty, swinging like Natalie Cole. But then out of the blue. All right, we just got here. I'm the first one here because. I'm a nerd and I always think I'm late and I'm not. I got everyone's merch items for them to take pictures in if they want. Um, everyone got like a couple samples. Look how cute this is. This is my iPad. Remember when my laptop was broken and I just bought a, a keyboard for my iPad so I could at least take it with me to like take notes everywhere? This is that and it looks like it looks like a little mini computer. It looks like a 10 inch tiny ass computer. Isn't that cute? And a oop, and then it just, you can just type with it. It doesn't have a trackpad. That's the only thing that's different, but like all this is still touch screen and then it just like takes notes. So it's perfect for a meeting for taking notes. Oh, thank with. You. oh my God, oh my God. Hello. My business partner, <laughs> she's here. We cute, we cute today. We cute. Here we go, let's do it. Well, hers is like a real, like a real computer. <laughs> I, I didn't buy this. Oh, she's a real computer. Oh. My job. <laughs> My job. Go oh, slide. Slide. Huh? It's yours. Oh, it's mine. I'm yeah, rich. She's a bit, I'm yeah, rich. she's rich. I'm rich. Who strolls down the boulevard but you? Your place is closer than mine. Why don't we go there and have some more wine? Yo, it's like every time I try to get some work done, bitches be tripping. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I've been trying to edit my Eminem review video for the music to be murdered by. And uh, yesterday, I had so many meetings. So many meetings. I didn't get to vlog very much at those meetings because there was just a lot of meeting happening. I had a meeting with a brand and then I me had a meeting with the Sticky Show crew with like Nate and everybody. And, uh, and then I had a meeting for Big Mood and all the girls and planning just a bunch of content for the next coming months. And then today we have a meeting with JK News and I just want to edit my freaking Eminem video. And I only had two hours yesterday to edit before I went to sleep because I wanted to wake up super early and edit the rest of it. But then Steve freaking stole my blankets in the night and then didn't even use them. He like stole them and then took them off of him and put it on the floor. Asshole. And then I got my blanket back and he started snoring and it was just a mess. And so then I ended up sleeping in way too late. And then I started working on my video again this morning and realized that I had an extra charge for my health insurance that should have been canceled. So I had to be on the phone with them for an hour. And then I found, while I was like on the phone for an hour, I found this fucked up thing on my credit score and I like had to dispute it. And like, why is life, why is adulting so stupid? It's just so stupid. I just want to work on my, on my Eminem review video. That's all I want to do. So how's your day? Happy Tuesday. I think I'm going to go for a run. After the meeting though, that's all I'm going to do. This is all I'm going to do for like eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow. I'm gonna work on this all night. Cut to me snoring here at the desk <laughs> at 10 p.m. All right, we're going to a JK News meeting now. Um, I ran for a couple miles and then I meditated and my meditation today was called releasing hostility towards others. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. you don't know my life. That's fun. The meditation app. Are you feeling but then, it? Well, no, then I was getting pissed at the meditation lady because she was taking too long. <laughs> That's so. amazing. That's so ironic. I love it. She did her job. Yeah. It's weird being here now at the the downtown office because um, like the JK party set is a different company now. It's got ripped out. It's like completely different. Yep. 
so weird. When you look in there, the, like the house is gone too, so it's oh, yeah. super weird. Oh yeah, so weird. Yeah. Also, check it out, check it out. This was from Sarah, GB Sarah. Oh. Yeah. That's my mother, my mother of cats. Know, I didn't even see that. Yeah. I have no awareness of I know. details. Yeah. But people detail. I looked I at your outfit today. So as we were driving to the new office, the, J the downtown JK office, I was like, where are you going? We're going to JK News. <sighs> He was like, no, it's not a conference room. It's at the downtown office. And I was like, I would've gone to JK News because it's a JK News meeting, but if you're wrong, that's on you. So uh, we're late, we're 20 minutes late right now. And then now we're on our way to the JK News office. It's great. The it old feels office. good. Um, it feels good. It feels good to be right, it feels bad to be late. So you roast my outfit, now you roasted me about getting the location. Yeah, because you were so adamantly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense though because we have a conference room at the new office. Okay. And then so the, otherwise we're just sitting around the JK tables in the dirty office. No, nah, they have couches there. The couches are terrible. I this know. This is going to be the worst meeting ever. Listen, I didn't plan this meeting. I was just, I was like JK News, we're going to JK News office. Those couches are not couches. Those couches are a human rights violation. I think you're just mad you're wrong. Well, duh. <laughs> Look at this is where all the people are. We found them, honey. We found them. We're going to clean the office together? In 30 minutes, we're all going to get together to clean up this fucking office. As this dude brought us all here to clean his office. Yep. <laughs> That's what yeah. we're doing. Yeah, this well, yeah, yeah, this was a, this was a He's staff to get It's a meeting. So all right, I'm everyone clean the thing. office. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a project. No. Right, go. There's gonna be a point, there's gonna be a point. I need to have a meeting at my house now. 30 minutes, <laughs> look at what we've accomplished. Jeez. Pat, come back, in 30 minutes. How do you feel? Fast. Hold on. I feel like I'm super grateful because we just have an awesome team that can do anything regardless <laughs> if it's movies or YouTube or, or whatever. Or cleaning an office. Cleaning an office. <laughs> I was editing a video until two in the morning, which never happens. I'm usually a before midnight in bed type of person, but I took hella naps because, um, well, I guess I'll talk about it in a little bit, but um, yeah, I was editing my Eminem video, my Eminem album review video, and um, I haven't, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, and I haven't vlogged since the JK meeting um, two days ago. It's been a heavy week because of the Kobe Bryant stuff and uh, just how much it rocked all of the nation and probably the, the world too, but I'm definitely feeling it in LA, especially because of the Lakers. Um, it just really, really, really affected everybody and um, it's just a heavy, heavy feeling in the air. Um, and then that was, so that was this weekend, today's Thursday. That was this past weekend, and then yesterday I woke up and um, I had a message from someone on my Instagram who said that their brother is a big fan of Shit They Don't Tell You and that it was really helping him out and she was reading back through some of her messages with him and he was just talking about how much she loved the show and how, how it was helping him and she said he never says that about anything and uh, recently he took his own life and um, that was I, uh, that was really heavy. Uh, so she wanted to try and find the clip that we answered his question on and um, she didn't know where to start because she doesn't she doesn't actually listen to the show. so I found the clip for her, but uh, I kind of, man, I just felt... I just felt so sad and, and I was just uh, kind of a mess after that and I went to bed. I went right back to bed. It was the morning, but I went back to bed. But yeah, anyway, um, prayers to their family. Jeez, I mean, dealing with my own stuff, uh, I get, I get that. That sucks. That really sucks. Um, so yeah, anyway, I woke up later in the afternoon and uh, started editing my Eminem video and 
uh, actually reshot and then re-edited after eight hours of shooting and editing the original one. I re-edited and I'm so glad that I reshot it. And then I was getting really into the re-edit and I made it till two in the morning and then I had to go to bed. But Franklin is still on a schedule no matter what. Uh, he still thinks that I have to get up at a certain time. So if I don't get up by 8 a.m., he's like, something's something's wrong, I need to wake her up. He becomes superhero and he has to wake me up. He gets really aggressive. So I had to put him in the bathroom because that's the only place where he won't claw the carpet. And then I had to lock Joe out of the room too. And um, yeah, so now it's 10.15. <laughs> Oh no, it's 10. Okay, it's 10. We're, we, got some, we got some time. I just woke up and this never happens either. I'm usually up at like 7.30, 8 at the latest. Um, but I had to do what I had to do. Anyway, good morning. I hope you're all healthy and happy out there. It's, man, let's just get through this week, you know? Today, my friend Jess is coming over. I really wanted to clutter this house. Freaking JK, man. Like, I wanted to declutter this house for the past month and I've been putting it off for other people's stuff and then I get to JK meeting and they have us declutter their office. I'm like, motherfucker, I want my house decluttered. My goal was to have this house completely decluttered by the end of the month, um, which is on Friday, which is tomorrow. Ah, so I think, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I think I could at least get a few rooms done and uh, my friend Jess is coming over in a little bit to help me put together this vanity that came in. Um, I did not realize it was so big, but shout out to Impressions Vanity. What? There's a lot of talking. Let's get some coffee in our bodies. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello, welcome to the world. Do you like it here? Can I get you anything? Some water? Maybe some water, some refreshments? It is a plant watering day today. There's so much to do. Does everyone have coffee? I have coffee in me. Wow, it's a new day. Decluttering. Originally, I wanted to go through the entire house and just throw away everything, absolutely everything that we don't use. Just like everything. If I haven't used it in six months, it's gone. But that got a little overwhelming especially with my schedule. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is just take it one room at a time. Let's slow our lives down. Let's not be so stressed about everything. Can we do that, Nikki? I don't know. Let's try though. My closet, I've done the most work on. However, it's the most messy right now. I'm not a good putter awayer. So I'll clean my closet like once a week and then the rest of the week it is on the floor. This is what I'm talking about though with my vanity is that I freaking love this vanity. I love this mirror, like we're keeping this mirror. But um, as far as this goes, there's just not enough space and there's not enough like storage. And if this was a drawer, there would be more storage, but um, it's actually a lifty thing because the, the original mirror is, is here and it lifts up and then you have like storage under there and then there's a mirror and um, it's not as cool looking. So I just keep it closed so I can have this all down here. There's more makeup in the bathroom because I can't fit all the makeup here and you might be like Nikki just get rid of all the makeup because like you're decluttering you don't need it anymore but I actually do. I actually rotate all of my eyeshadow palettes. I did get rid of a lot of makeup and I'll show you the bag of like it's filled with makeup that I'm giving to my friend. So I had a vanity company actually reach out to me about doing a collaboration um, and uh, their vanities are insane looking. They're called Slay Stations and they look amazing. It's Impressions Vanity if you want to check them out on Instagram. They're amazing. Um, and they sent me uh, a vanity. I told them I already have a mirror, but um, they sent me uh, the actual vanity and the drawers to, most important part, the drawers to hold all the makeup with. So we're doing that today. Going room by room, I want to get the closet decluttered today. I want to get the bedroom decluttered today, which there's not a lot of stuff in our bedroom, so that, that should be easy. And I want to get the bathrooms, the upstairs bathrooms decluttered because, girl, ew. Like, Ugh. There's just so much, like there's so much here. Like, do we need all this shit? No. This thing, I've had this sitting here in this exact spot for the past two years that we've lived in this house. That's not okay. It's a nail polish holder because I used to be really into doing my nails. So I had tons of nail polish that would fill like all of these racks. And I actually have two of these. The other one is downstairs because I've been meaning to get rid of it for the past two years. Um, but now I have someone do my nails. So 
I don't really have a need for the nail polish other than to do touch-ups um, if like say one of my gels fell off or something. Um, hey Joe, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, we got this bathroom, this is the guest bathroom, but it's also where I shower because the master bathroom shower doesn't get hot water. That's something I wanna fix this year. I think that's a reason why like I, I really wanna remodel this whole bathroom because I fucking hate this green wall. I hate green walls, sorry. No offense to anybody who has who loves green walls, but I really hate it. It reminds me of all those haunted shows where the ghosts, um, if you watch any of those haunted shows, the walls are always green in the ghost shows. I hate it. It just makes me feel a certain way. Um, so I really wanna repaint this whole bathroom. Um, but one of the things that's been demotivating is that this, I, no one even showers in here. We've lived here two years and no one has been able to take a shower or a bath in here because this uh, shower doesn't get hot water. We're working on it, but um, this, I don't really, I don't mind the color as much. It just needs some decor and some updating. But decluttering wise, these are all nail polishes that used to be on that rack and I just kind of kept here. This stuff has been, I started decluttering at the beginning of this month and these bags are all filled with clothes and shoes and uh, I think there's like three different bags full of that that I'm gonna donate. These are all the makeups that I'm getting rid of and there's like a ton. There's a ton of stuff in here. That might be more information than you needed but all you need to know is today we're doing bedroom, closet, bathrooms, decluttering, and building a vanity. We're cool. Uh, Steve's at JK News today, so it's just me and the kitties having a, having a huge party. We just pushed this giant box up the stairs. It's like a hundred pounds. Holy balls. We got our workout in. It was heavy. We are sweating. Hairs up, AC's on. <laughs> but see, I'm so good at hiding it. So good at hiding it. I don't think I need to shine a light on it. I think my heart probably better off with this little bitty box where the sun don't shine and you can't see all its scars. See, it's a dark, dark world when your lights turn off and a chance don't feel worth taking anymore. Yeah, I'm so wall off that my walls got walls. So if you jump on defense, you end up in a hall. But if I fall, would you catch me? The sun is setting, bitch. We started this at 11 a.m. But we did it all by we ourselves. Did we did it. We had some, pro okay, oh my God. We had this whole tweezer gate happen -gate. where we fucked up and I wish I would have vlogged it, but we were like in the middle of problem solving. But anyway, moment Beautiful. of truth. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The mirror goes here. But like, but like, look at this. But like, we did that. But like, you put your makeup in here, but like, there's- But like, we built that shit. There's so much storage. Oh. I'm so excited. Would you let me go? Well, I guess I'll never know. 